Windows 10 and 11 access special symbols quickly. I'm Huey Poplock. How do you put those fun little icons in your text when typing in Windows? Recently, I did an article on using ASCII characters. To insert an ASCII character, press and hold down the Alt key while typing this character code. For example, to insert a degree symbol, you press and hold down the Alt while typing 0176 on the numeric keypad. You must use the numeric keypad to type the numbers and not the keyboard. Make sure that the numlock key is on if your keyboard requires it to type the numbers on the numeric keypad. Here are some of the symbols. To get the copyright symbol, it's Alt plus the 0169. The sense is Alt 0162. For the degree, it could be Alt 0176 or Alt 0186. There is another way in which you can do that, and that's going to the Windows Tools in your menu and then going to Character Map. When you open up the Character Map, you will get this. You can choose which symbol you want, highlight it, you hit the select button, it copies it, and then you can paste it into your document. But we live in an emoji world now. So how do you put those fun little icons in your text when typing in Windows? The pop-up keyboard. It's typically meant for use when in tablet mode, but it's easy to access even when you're using Windows 10 or 11 with a regular keyboard. In Windows 10, you right-click the taskbar in a blank area and select Show Touch Keyboard button. An icon of a little keyboard will appear next to the clock in the taskbar. You tap at any time with the mouse cursor to bring up the on-screen keyboard. Tap any key on your keyboard to dismiss it from the screen. Click the extra keyboard icon on the top left to access various layout options including a split keyboard and a stylus pad. For Windows 11 users, right-click the taskbar to access taskbar settings. Toggle on the touch keyboard to get a permanent keyboard icon in the system tray. So let's do it. The touch keyboard is normally used with a tablet or touch screen. But if you have neither, you can still use that touch keyboard. Let's set it up on my Windows 11 machine. First, what we're going to do is you right mouse click anywhere in a blank spot on the taskbar and you get taskbar settings. When you click that, you will get the settings for your taskbar. You want to where it says touch keyboard. You want to turn that on. As soon as you do, you will see down in the tray a little keyboard. And that's what we're going to be using. So we've turned it on. If it's already there, then you don't have to turn it on, obviously. Before we examine the touch keyboard, let's look at a couple of examples of how to use it. Then you'll have a better idea as we examine the keyboard what you might do with it. So let's take a look. We're now in a Google Doc. And if I type the temp in Alaska is 57, and we want to say degrees Fahrenheit. So what we do is we come down to the touch keyboard. We click this little icon here, and then we find the icon for the symbols, and we find degrees Fahrenheit. Put that in. Bingo. It's in our document. As soon as we hit a key on our keyboard, the touch keypad goes away. So we'll open it again. We'll come up here. This time we're going to add an emoji and saying, uh, and let's put another emoji in there as well. We can look at many emojis. We can choose any one we want. And let's take this and this and this one. Click the space bar. That keyboard goes away. Now, the one thing that you can do is we can highlight all of this. It's a font of 12. 
Let's go ahead and make it uh, 60. And it enlarges all of it. Now, besides your word processor, let's do something on Facebook. So we can say uh, the temperature here is 87 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're going to come down here. Again, we're going to click on this. We're going to come here to the symbols and hit enter. We're on the next line and say uh, this is, and we'll come down here again. Click, 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 and say it's copyrighted. One more. We'll say it's also registered spacebar it goes away it's put both of those in there we tell it to post that it's there let's examine our keyboard a little more closely and to do that i opened up notepad and i have a set for a font of 48 so you'll be able to see what i'm typing so let's open up the keyboard and we can use it as a keyboard so i could type in It's much slower than using your fingers. You still can do it, so you don't have to leave the keyboard. Now, again, I mentioned you click this little button up here, and when you do, you get several choices. Uh, let's take them one at a time. First, we can look at emojis. And it puts a good number of emojis up there, but you'll see you have, you get smiley faces and animals. You get people. It's celebrations and other items, food, transportation, and hearts. But you can put other items here. I also added more emojis to give you some examples. Make sure that you understand that this is a full keyboard and use it as a keyboard. However, you're going to be clicking using your mouse. Unless it's a touch screen, then you can be using your fingers. Or thanks to Bob G who pointed out yet there's another way to get to our symbols. I have notepad open. If we hold the Windows key down and hit period, it opens up this window. And in this window, you will see there are emoji, there are GIFs, there are Kimojis, and symbols, as well as clipboard history. Let's go to the symbols. So there are all of the symbols. There are several groupings of the symbols. You can either click from one to the other, or you can just, as you move down, it changes that title. But we're in general punctuation. And if we click on one of them, it will go into our document. As you can see, they're adding them here. Now, what I have noticed that if I click anywhere in the document, that little pop-up goes away. I type in something else. And then when I go to the next line or I do something else, then when I want it back again, again, I have to click the Windows key and the period. And it puts it right here. So I have to bring it over here. And then if we want to put this in, it will put it in. So it does work. It is not as easy as I think the using the keyboard, but it works. I thank you for watching Windows 10 and 11 access special symbols quickly. I'm Huey Poplock.